climates and microclimates of Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a small yet very diverse country. You get proximity to both the Pacific and Caribbean coasts and varied terrain with high mountain chains, volcanoes, valleys, plains, swamps, you name it. Drive a few kilometers and you'll find yourself in a different ecosystem. I guess you could say Costa Rica's topography is quite compact. As a result of this phenomena, the country has many microclimates. Drive for about 40 minutes from Liberia to Coco or from Cartago to Escazú and you will be probably met with very different skies, humidity and temperatures. Climates can be classified in four main types. Dry tropical climate, tropical mountain climate, humid tropical climate and very humid tropical climate. In each of these regions you will find plants and animals adapted to the specific climates. From sturdy bushes and rattlesnakes to big tall leafed canopy trees and colorful birds to short cloud forest vegetation and small cold adapted mammals. Climates are influenced by the two different pluvial areas or rain zones the country has, the Pacific and the Caribbean. This division is created by the mountain range, trapping humidity coming from the eastern winds in the Caribbean zone and creating drier winds in the Pacific zone. The dry tropical climate, mainly located in the area of Guanacaste, is typically warm or hot depending on the area you visit. It has a strong dry season from December to March and a moderately rainy season during the rest of the year. The humid tropical climate, mainly located in the area of Punta Arenas, can be mild, warm or hot depending on the area you visit. It has a moderately dry season from December to March and a rainy season during the rest of the year. The very humid tropical climate is located mostly in the province of Limón and the northern parts of Heredia and Alajuela. This climate's rainy season is from November to January, unlike the rest of the country. Finally, the tropical mountain climate in Costa Rica is as weird as it can get. The map marks the area as a whole, but in reality, this is a crazy collage of many different tiny climates and ecosystems. Jungle, swamps, grasslands, the tropical mountain climate has a bit of everything. The constant changes in altitude shape this region into a can be hot down here, can be cold a few meters up there, I have a cactus growing in my backyard, and it just hailed at David's house. The sun in San Jose can be excruciating while Cartago, 20 kilometers or about 13 miles away, is experiencing a monsoon. The southern side of this stripe is categorized as high cloud forest with altitudes of over 3,000 meters or 1 mile above the sea level. During night at the summit of Cerro Chirripo, temperatures reach below 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit and plants freeze. The volcanic range presents vastly different climates depending on each volcano's height. Irazu is very cold, while Rincón de la Vieja is considered a warm place. All the tiny climates are too many to be listed and explained in just one video, and they vary greatly depending on altitude, proximity to water, and wind exposure. Sadly, determining how a climate should be has become increasingly trickier due to climate change. Rain patterns are changing, becoming more erratic, while droughts become more frequent. If you would like to investigate further about how the climate behaves in a specific area of the country, our advice is to ask locals, others living there or that know the place. Asking people is the best way to grasp the complexity of Costa Rican climates and microclimates.